the need for a global Christian nation. According to the Pew Research, there are 1.8 billion Muslims in the world as of 2015, roughly 24% of the world's global population, which means Islam is currently the world's second largest religion and the most united and organized religion in the world. It is assumed to be the fastest growing religion in the world. If the current demographic tends to continue, the number of Muslims is expected to exceed the number of Christians by the end of 2060. The reason why more rapid growth is projected for Muslims is due to the Muslims being younger and having more children on average than Christians. We discovered that our Muslim brethren has an hidden agenda to Islamize the whole world before 2060. They have succeeded in creating an Islamic nation which was formed in Cairo, 1945, which is known as the Arab world or the Arab nation. This is a system created to represent the interest of the Arab people and especially the pursuit of political unification of the Arab countries. This is meant to empower the Arab world against outside forces by forming alliances and also building a system of economic cooperation. However, it is very important to note that the Arab nation is a union of Arab-speaking African and Asian countries, and it is made up of 22 countries, which are Algeria, Bahrain, Comoros, Djibouti, Egypt, Iran, Sudan, Kuwait as the ninth richest country in the world, Lebanon, Libya, Mauritania, Morocco, Oman, Palestine, Qatar, which is the richest country in the world, Saudi Arabia, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, Tunisia, United Arab Emirates, which is the eighth richest in the world, and Yemen. Note, they have a total population of 423 million across all countries, but not all Islamic nations are under the, the Arab nation. The Arab nation is made up of Arab countries, but they are allies to other Islamic countries with a mandate to fulfill their Islamic civilization agenda. What is the Arab nation's strategy to influence the world? According to scriptures, Persia is the modern Iran. Russia will lead Iran and the Islamic nations in an attack against Israel as described in Ezekiel 38, 4-6. In recent years, Russia, Iran, and the Arab nations of the world has joined forces to create long-range nuclear missiles that can hit London, Jerusalem, and New York. The president of Iran, Mahmoud al-Madinjad, has said on international televisions, with respect of needs of Islamic countries, we are ready to transfer nuclear know-how to these countries. That means every Islamic terrorist organization is going to have the opportunity to use those atomic weapons. Now, think about that. That means suitcase bombs could be exploding in several of the major cities of America and other countries where Christians are highly populated. They are currently working within mosques, Islamic centers, because a federal judge will not provide any law enforcement agent with a warrant to search a mosque or an Islamic center for any reason. However, it has been discovered that the Iranian EMP attack on any Christian populated countries, electronic and communication infrastructure will bring such country to its knees. Why will Russia make an alliance with Iran and the Islamic nation in an attack against England, Israel, and USA? It is no longer news that Russia is planning to assess unlimited supply of oil to regain the stature of global superpower. In order to achieve her goal, Russia must help the Islamic nation achieve her Islamic agenda by conquering the two Christian most populated countries which are England 
and USA. Russia has also decided to attack the Israel because they want to take over the mineral deposits in the Dead Sea and also help Iran and the Islamic nation take over Jerusalem. Why is the Arab nations so powerful? They have one vision, which is to Islamize the world. The Arab world has three countries which are the richest in the world, which are Qatar, the richest country in the world, United Arab Emirates, the UAE, the 80th richest country in the world, Kuwait as the ninth richest country in the world. The Arab world has more influence in 10 African countries and they have immensely contributed to settling disputes and also to the economic growth of poor African countries under them. 93% of Arabs are adherents of Islam, while 7% are Christians and other religions. They have a strong system of leadership which is known as the Arab League Council, headed by Ahmad Abdul Gahid, who is the General Secretary of the League as Arts 2021. They have succeeded in promoting free trading amongst each other. They have also succeeded in freeing the Arab countries that are still under colonial rules. They have succeeded in promoting economic cooperation and joint defense. They succeeded in forming a peacemaking force in 2007 and 2015. Now, the weakness of the Arab nation. The Arab League effectively and influence have been hampered by division among member states. During the Cold War, some members were supportive of the Soviet Union while others aligned with the Western Union. There has also been rivalry among league leaderships, especially between Egypt and Iraq. The United States attacked the Saddam Hussein Iraq, which created significant rifts between members. Hostility between monarchs such as Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and Morocco have been disruptive.